Yo, what's up guys? So we're here to check out a bunch of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards over here. I guess Deep Sea Dealer gets a new boss sponsor. I guess it's a new archetype. I'm really interested in checking these out. I guess it's the Deep Sea archetype, so that is pretty cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. So it looks like the first card is going to be Deep Sea uh, Artesian or Artisan over here. And uh, it's got zero attack, 500 defense points, level one. And uh, it is a sea serpent, and it says you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. The first effect is if this card is added from the hand from the deck or graveyard, you get to reveal this card, look at your opponent's hand. Okay. Reveal this card and just get to look at the hand. Okay, I thought I was going to do something else. Okay, that's still pretty good though. And then the second effect is if this card is special sudden, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard and then target one level four lower mo water monster in graveyard, except for itself. And then special summon it, but its effects are negated. Well, wow, that's actually a pretty cool effect, too. Um, I wish it didn't negate the effect, though. Uh, next up, though, we have the Deep Sea Sentry over here. And he's got 400 attack, 2,000 defense points, and he is a level 2. It says you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. Uh, it says if this card is sent to the graveyard to activate a water monster's effect, you can banish one card from your opponent's hand face up until the end phase. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I, it, it, does, it, it reveals it for... I'm, I'm pretty sure you just get to reveal... Like, does that mean that you get to look at your opponent's hand forever? Because that would make more sense to support, like, you get to choose which one. I don't know. Someone can comment down below. I think there's a specific wording on, like, the, the play with their hand reveals. There's, like, a few other Yu-Gi-Oh cards that your opponent has to permanently reveal their hand. But it, it just says, look at your opponent's hand. Um, I guess for a second. I don't know. I, like I said, I feel like it should be forever. It would make it, the archetype so much better. Anyways, the second part of the Sentry's effect is, if this card is special summon, you get to send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard then target one level four a lower water monster in graveyard except for deep sea sentry and add it to your hand okay that's pretty good all right next up we have the deep sea uh minstrel over here and here is uh what she looks like and she's got uh the stats of level three water 1200 attack 1500 defense points and also i'm thinking that like deep sea diva could easily just go to three on the next list and uh maybe water will be tier one again anyways says you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. The first effect is you can discard this card and one water monster to reveal your opponent's hand. If you do, banish one card from their face up until the end phase. The second effect is this card is special summon you get to send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard and the target one level three or lower water monster graveyard and place it on the top or bottom of the deck. This is interesting. It basically reminds me of kind of like Sylvan's where you're stacking your deck over there. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, but nonetheless, I'm thinking that you know, it'd be really nasty if you, just, if you start getting rid of their hand traps and they can't use the hand traps because you banished them. Now you know exactly what those hand traps are. Uh, next up, that we have the Deep Sea Princess uh, Prima Donna. Okay, so this is the new boss monster for the archetype. The stats look a little bit weak, but as long as the effect is good, man. Anyways, uh, 1500 attack, 2700 defense points, and it's level 7. Uh, sea Serpent Synchro. Oh, it's a Synchro Tuner. And so its materials are 1 Tuner plus 1 plus Non Tuner monsters. And it says. You can only use this card's name first and third effects once per turn each. The first effect is you can target one of your opponent's banished cards, take one level four lower water monster from your deck, and either add to your hand or spell summon. If you do, add the targeted uh, target to your opponent's hand. Oh, so they get that card back. Okay. Uh, I, I would be better if you could add that target. Yeah, it's, it's your opponent. I wish you could add that card to my hand. Um, next card uh, effect is um, a synchro uh, monster that was synchro summon uses cards material cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effect. That's actually a really good card effect as well, um, especially if you just get one of those cards that can't be destroyed by like uh, battle roll or like um, maybe can't be destroyed by card effects. That'd be really good. Anyways. Um, the third part of the effect is if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one banished card and shuffle it into the deck. Okay, so that's either that's either one. So that can really recycle some of your cards maybe that you banished, but more likely you're going to get rid of a card in your opponent's hand and then shuffle that back, and so they basically go minus one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Next up, we have some more support for uh, the archetype, and here's what it looks like, and it is called the Deep Sea Aria. And it's a normal spell card that says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. First effect is banish one water monster from your graveyard to add one level four or lower sea serpent monster from your deck. Wow, that's a searcher for D.Va, which is like one of the best cards ever. And again, since all the archetype looks like it's, well, with the session of obviously getting this out, like you can just go ahead and D.Va right into them, right? I'm gonna have to double check on D.Va. I believe it's three or lower, right? And then we still have more Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. Um, uh, is it deep space, C. 
Uh, okay, I just didn't know if it was a dash. Okay, it's a, th a three or lower. Okay, so yeah, you can get every single one of these targets with the section of the synchro, but yeah, obviously. <laughs> anyways, we got some extra water support plus some more cards. So anyways, let's get started. So first off, we have Tendangle D Holes. I was, gosh, like they really couldn't think of another uh, name besides D's Holes. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> anyways. Still better than D-Boys, Kappa. All right, uh, level five Dark Fiend flip effect monster here. So you just zoomed up picture on this card over here. Anyways, uh, thousand attack, thousand defense. And it says you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per unit each. The first effect is, if this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard, target is hidden dangle monster in the graveyard, except for itself, special summon and face down defense mission. The second effect is a flip effect uh, to send, you can send one spell trap from your deck to the graveyard. Oh wow, this could be like huge. Um, for any like cheesy deck that needs very specific cards, um, I don't know, th there's definitely gonna be someone that figures out some FTK, OTK with some, some things, even though I'm guessing the effects are only yeah, once per turn each. There might be some other cards that you can utilize this and make some plays with it, uh, because I'm thinking that you could cheese and have the, just set this card, activate a card to flip this up, send a card that lets you, I don't know, like uh, left arm offering and go for very specific FTK case i definitely think this is possible um although technically you could argue like what is it foolish burial goods can help out too i don't know i just feel like this opens up a little bit of potential anyways next up the third effect is a tentangle link monster those links someone using this card's material can make up to three attacks per battle phase oh gosh <laughs> i mean it, it's fine though i'm pretty sure if you're, if you're if you get to the point of actually doing anything with tentangles kappa you, you you probably somehow uh won or you played against someone that's playing crystal beast kappa anyways right hand shark uh, level four water fish effect monster uh, 1500 attack 1300 defense points and it says you can only use this card's name first second and third effects once per range the first effect is when this card is normal summon you get to add a left hand shark from your deck to your hand the second effect is if this card is in your graveyard and control no monsters you can special this card but banish it if it leaves the field third effect is if an exceed monster that exceeds someone using only water monsters on the field including this card's material gains this effect you can't be sure about battle next up we have left hand shark and it's a level three what wait what this was four and this was three and they were talking about xyz's yeah good luck with that um anyways uh level three water fish uh, 1500 uh th sorry 1300 attack 1500 defense points you can only use this card's name first and third effects once per turn each if this card is in your great hand or graveyard and you control right hand strike you can special on this card but banish it if it leaves the field the second effect is if this card is special from the graveyard oh okay it levels becomes four that now that makes sense the third effect is the exceed monster that was exceeded someone using only water monsters on the field including this card's material it can't, it can't be shared by card effects I don't know why they made this card three unless like this card can change. I wish this card could also change its level if it wanted to. Uh, that would be kind of cool. That way you'd have threes and fours. Although who'd run in the fight and dragon in 2019, right? Um, or I guess these cards are kind of coming out in 2020. Um, but I mean, you can make a card that can't be destroyed. Battle can't be destroyed. Card effects. Okay, Bahamas Shark is kind of cool card, right? Um, but and you bring out you know you can bring out some good stuff, but you obviously have to make link zones first. Anyways, next up we have Pendulum it Exceeds, uh, which is a normal spell card that says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. The first effect is to target two cards in a Pendulum Zone special summon them, but their effects are engaged. And if you do immediately after this effect, exceed summon one exceed monster using those two monsters as material. You can treat the level of one of those materials the same as the other monsters during exceed summon. It's like they read my mind, dude. I swear I did not even read this card beforehand. Anyways, next up we have Dowsing Fusion, which is a normal spell card that says you can only activate one card. This card's name per turn. If you just have infusion monsters from your extract by banishing monsters from your graveyard as material, you can only use pendulum monsters as material to fusion someone with its effect. Oh, I was gonna say that's actually a pretty good effect, just to be able to like basically miracle fusion, right? Um, for any archetype, then I was like a psych pendulums only. Next up, we got white mirror, which is a normal spell card. It says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Target one level four or lower white or uh one or lower a uh, one level four lower fish monster in your response summon it then you can add one monster with the same original name from your deck to your hand next up we have eternal bond which is a normal trap card that says you can only use this card's name first and second effects at once per turn each the first effect is Target any number of photo monsters in your graveyard and spell summon it, but their effects are negated. The second effect is during your main phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a photon monster your opponent controls, gain control of that monster. Also, for the rest of the turn, you can't decline an attack with monsters except for with that monster. Also, that monster attack becomes equal to the combined original type of all photon monsters you control. Okay, that's interesting. Especially during the end phase. Okay cool stuff next up though we got some extra cards i believe the sekas got announced a while ago they didn't really get some good stuff um 
but we got some newer support for them, so let's go ahead and check them out. I think, like I said, these got announced before. I might have actually read some of these, but they got some new support, so let's go and check out all of them, because I honestly probably forgot most of these guys' effects. Anyways, and some of you guys might not have remembered them. And again, some of these might be new. I, I Honestly, I don't remember which ones look like which ones, but I know we, we announced, the, uh, uh, they got announced a while ago. Anyways, Sega Chief Cow D. So he's a Fire Beast Warrior. He's level 8, 3,2500, it says, you can only use his card's name, first and third effects, once per turn each. The first effect is if a card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle by card effect, you can send one other card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. Okay. Wait, it just... just right. did, did, it just special summons, it doesn't like prevent it? Okay, just kind of make sure on that. The second effect is can't be targeted or destroyed by the opponent's card effect while you control another Senka monster. Um, the third effect is when this card destroys an opponent's monster but battle sends graveyard you special summon to your field and defense. Oh, you basically they, they made Goyo Guardian? You could just special Goyo Guardian now. Okay, that's pretty cool. His name is Cow D, which comes from Cow Cow, whose cursing name is Ming D. Well, thanks for the history lesson there. Anyways, Senka Herald Z Zhang Yuan. Um he is a Fire Beast Warrior effect, 2300, 2000, level 6. You can only use his cards first and third effects once per each. At the beginning of your damage step, when a Senka monster you control battles an opponent's face up monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do that, opponent's monster loses 1000 attack. Um, second effect is Senka monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle except for this card. Third effect is an opponent monster is destroyed by battle of a card effect. You can tear out one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Thanks, so basically, just whenever battle, you just special summon them all and just go all in. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the whole point. Um, next up, we have the Senka, um, Machinator, Jiao Wen. Anyways, it's Fire Beast Warrior Effect. 1100 attack, 1800 defense points, level 4 fire. Um, you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per each. The first effect is you can target a continuous spell trap card you control, send to the graveyard, and if you do half the attack of two face-up monsters until the end of turn. Ooh, that's huge. That gets over, like, most stuff in the game. And then, uh... Second effect is if an opponent's card is uh, destroyed by battle by card effect, you target a Senka card in your graveyard, except for itself, and add it to your hand. Um, okay, uh, his cutest name is Winhee. Okay. Anyways, next up we have the strategist uh, Zukong, and it's Wind Beast Warrior effect, level 4, 1,000, 2, uh, level, thousand, level 4, 1,000 attack, 2,000 defense points. It says you can only use this card's name first, second, and third effects once per each. First effect is if this card is added from your deck to your hand by the by a Senka card effect, you can spell summon this card. The second effect is when a spell slash trap is activated as a quick effect, you can send one face up Senka continuous spell trap. You control it to the graveyard to negate the activation. Third effect is when a monster effect is activating control at Senka. Uh, Liu Xuan, uh, quick effect, you just send one face of Senka continuous spell or, or trap, you control, negate that activation. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then, um, we don't need that history lesson. All right, I want to see this card though. It is the 100,000 arrows, and it's a continuous, uh, spell card. It says, you can only use the card's name first and second effects once per turn each. First effect is you can target one face up monster your opponent controls and one second monster you, you, uh, you control. Until the end of this turn, half that opponent's monster's attack. And if you do, that monster gains, you control gains that much attack. The second effect is if this card is sent to the graveyard and you control two or more attributes among Senka monsters you control, you can place one Senka continuous spell and trap directly from your hand or deck face up on your field, except for Senka let 100,000 arrows. I'm not sure the point of putting a continuous trap card from your hand or spell card, but like you would just play them anyways. I don't know. I think that obviously you're just going to use it from the deck. Maybe there is a certain circumstance where it becomes more viable, but nonetheless, I guess it sets up your place for next turn, but I would just go for the, the deck anyways. Uh, okay, it talked about history. I, 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 if you guys want the history, you can check it out yourself. But anyways, guys, it's a lot of new cards. I'm actually most excited about this Deep Sea Diva Architect because I love the artwork. Hopefully it's a super rare card. That way we can make a token out of it. I like the artwork of them, but I'm not sure if I would consider them super OP. But anything that can potentially see your opponent's hand has huge potential. And on top of that, maybe you can mix these into Mermels. I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here, hit subscribe, turn that bell so you don't miss out when they announce all of the other new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's actually a lot more support coming out for not only these archetypes, but other ones that got announced. Basically, machines are getting a huge, huge boost here very soon. If you guys want to send me in other replays of this archetype, or if you guys are new here, I'll probably get some gameplay of this mixing with Mermails, honestly, because Mermails have been one of my favorite archetypes for quite some time, and I think that these could see a little bit of play in them. They do happen to have some synergy with them, but anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.